beautiful day. Don't let them take it away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day. Hey, tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, Tabari Hamilton, owner of Tabari Hamilton Photography, located here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, I specialize in um, visual art, so I take photos of different uh, things, subjects, and we create artwork from it. Um, we yes, also, these are beautiful. Yeah. I saw you last time at the other uh, Black Expo. Yes. Beautiful yeah. artwork. And they're all printed on, these are printed on metal. Uh, it's a brushed aluminum. And so it's uh, a process called dye sublimation. And uh, yeah, so it's So all, what does that mean? So it's uh, where it's, the metal is put into a press and it's heated up and uh, the ink is embedded in, into the actual metal. So it's, it's not like a, just a film put over on a piece of metal. It's actually heated up and transferred into it. So and that's what gives it that look. That's what oh, gives it that, that shine. That's so, awesome. Yeah, so we have that brushed aluminum back. So Oh, wow. And so yeah, it gives so, it so why do you think so. more outside work? Because I notice most of your uh, artwork is outside. Um, I find peace in being outdoors. Ah, uh, yes, yes. So, um, <laughs> Hiking, I, I love hiking, and so um, you know, along the way, you get to, to see nature, you know. So, um, and this is this is all of what God's created. You know, so that's right. Just being and, able to take it in and share. So. And what makes you pick certain things? Is there certain areas you like to go to? So that... wherever the wind takes me, I have uh, I like my it. collections called the Walk in My Shoes, and so oh, beautiful. Um, yeah, beautiful. so it's just kind of along my journey. So if I'm on my way. To shoot like a sports team, I'm you know stopping in places and yeah, finding yeah. you know different things and flowers and garden, you know. So just doing a little exploration. So it just catches your eye, yeah. and you're like, I gotta uh, take yep, a picture. Yeah, right I gotta now. stop and, and take it. So that so. means you carry your camera everywhere. It's it's with me 99% <laughs> of the time. The one today I don't have it. So but hey, you you working? I'm working. Yes, work. in a different way. So yeah, it's it's usually with me front seat. Um, yeah. Just, so what started all this? What made you want to get into photography? Oh, uh, man. It actually started, as a business. Well, I picked up my first camera back in 2020. And so um, it uh, kind of just took off from there. I was uh, working for with a friend, uh, Juneteenth uh, Barbecue, and took some photos. And they loved them. And then they hired me. And then the ah, next person nice. hired me. And so it just kind of, just kind of just took of off. Mouth, huh? Yeah, so it just took <laughs> off. And so... Um, we, I have uh, artwork up in the Montage in Deer Valley. Wow. A couple of uh, ho okay. hospitals throughout the valley and throughout the country. Um, what? Yeah, so we've, All been, right. we've been able to ship up to Canada. Um, oh, and so, amazing. yeah, we're, we're trying to, to just keep scaling and growing. And, so, uh, and what, are, what events do you have coming up? So right now we're, I have a show at the Leonardo currently that's going, um, oh, wow. and uh, I have a couple other little pop-ups. What's pop -ups, the dates on that? Do you know the so dates? So the date ends, I want to say the 7th of March, so it goes okay. all the way to the first part of March. So, nice. Um, so through the rest of February, it'll be up there. You'll be able to go see some of my work and other artists oh, um, as awesome. well. awesome. Do you know what the display. exhibit's called? Um, it, I probably should know. It's all right. We'll look it up. Uh, <laughs> I, it's, uh, I just... It's you all got, right you got because you, we can all find the it. questions that you have, like, <laughs> come on, you had to hit me with the one, the one got me. I know, it. right? But that's all right, because that's why people will follow you. So that's where can they right. follow you? Um, so I have two different social medias because I do portrait work as well. So you can find my print, um, the artwork side of things is going to be uh, th prints. Or and that's can, where people can get prints? You can order them through there. And oh, okay. um, yeah, we, we have everything where you can um, reach out and order, put up, place an order and see where the events are going to be, where I'm going to be on display. Nice. Um, and then my, it's Tabari Hamilton Photography is my photography side of things. So where we nice. do headshots, family photos. Ah, oh, that's uh, awesome. A little bit so of where is your so, shop located? So we don't have a set shop. I base out of, I have a, where I print out of is in Salt Lake. Oh, gotcha. Um, but so I just print out of a little warehouse and so, but uh, yeah, so. Perfect. Yeah. And do you have a website? Um, yes, yeah, so it's uh, thphotos.co. Okay, um, nice. And you can find uh, all the information, get in contact with me through there or Instagram. So. So yes, we're putting together a documentary. We're still working on it and uh, editing and getting everything all together. Um, it's just a transition of me. I was 400, over 420 pounds. Get out of here. Um, right now, I just.
just weighed in at 263, so a little over 160 Whoa. pounds that I've been able to lose. Over the last little while, we've documented it all. We've kept track of uh, workouts, eating, different things like that. And so I've uh, hired a whole team um, wow. and, and people that are helping me with dietitians to trainers to all this. And so we're uh, putting it all together to just be able to show what our bodies are capable of doing. Oh, that's if amazing. If we uh, put our minds to it and just hustle and, and really do it. And so I just want to show the behind the scenes of everyday entrepreneur plus spending the time to take care and you know get my body healthier you know? yes and what made you want to document it uh well i was pre-diabetic and so i got mm -hmm. told and i have a couple little ones and so um you know i i wanted to leave something for them so uh to show them that if they ever get into a point where they feel like life's a little hard that hey look dad was able to do it yeah. dad was able to, and and that's the the moral behind it is to inspire as many people that that decide to watch it right and just oh, show that um, an everyday person that just picks something up that loves, wants to share it, can turn you know in, into different avenues and yeah. different things in life. And, and so I just want to be able to share that you know with everybody. So. And what was the tipping point to make you say, okay, I got to make some changes? Um, you know, just just the, like I said, the unhealthy. You know, uh, just chase, trying to chase my little ones around. Mm. You know, I'm just out of breath. You know, <laughs> uh, you know, they're like, come on, dad, play, let's play a little bit more. And so. It was really, um, it really pushed me to want to be here, you know, if, even if it gives me a couple extra years, you know. Yes. That's, that's the, the more, that the, the whole picture behind it, right, is uh, just changing that little bit of the, those things, the lifestyle, and, yep. and uh, yep. to just, yeah, be able to inspire and, you know, inspire myself as well, so. Ah, that's beautiful, so. beautiful. Makes me need to go to the gym myself. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all, it, all it starts is just, is one day, right? Exactly. You just start just day one, one day, you know, you see it all over the internet. It's just getting started. And so exactly. um, it's hard, it's not gonna, it's not easy, but um, again, putting my mind to it, putting a team to it, and just showing what really goes into your eating, your, you know, training, your mental health, you know, I, I see a therapist a couple times a week as well, and we're documenting that. Oh, um, that's to, amazing. To go into it as well, to show, you know, to shine light onto that with our mental health, you know. Um, I gotta say, that's a beautiful thing, especially for uh, a black man to talk about mental health, yeah. talk about physical health. Uh, absolutely. Being here for, absolutely. for your kids, that's a beautiful thing. It, it is. I, you know, I'm a product of the system, so I had a choice growing up. I, you know, could continue to be. Uh, to live that or use that as a crutch or I could transition into breaking the cycle. And so exactly. my everyday move is to, to break the cycle and change um, and to just show that, you know, through hard work and dedication that you can be something. So, ah, that's beautiful. Yeah. Mind, body, and spirit. Yes, I sir. love it. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes. Oh uh, man, I just I love being here, being able to just share my love for uh, my passion with photography, and yes. so I just want to continue to be able to do that. So well, good seeing you yes. again. The work good is beautiful. You. Well, thank, you. <laughs> thank you. All right, take care. Tell me about yourself. Hi, uh, my name is Princess Bombik. I am I the it. owner and founder of Joa Apparel. And what? Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Liberia, West Africa. Oh, what brought you here in this cold weather? Keep the hustle. <laughs> <It's good. laughs> yeah. Have you been here for a, a while now? Um, yeah, I've been here for 10 years now. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. you're in Utah. Yeah, this, this is home. <laughs> this is home now. So, so tell me about your business. Okay, so the name Joa is actually a West African name. It means strength and power. Oh, I love and it. And Joa Apparel is a Alessio or active wear clothing brand. So we sell comfortable leggings, t-shirts, sport bra, jackets, and hoodies for women for now. And eventually we might move on to men's wear and children wear. So oh, yeah, I you do ain't gonna leave the men out yet. <laughs> men wear's coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so our goal is to provide high quality functional apparel that is like versatile and uh, can help you empower so you have to pursue your fitness or just whatever journey you decide to work on. Oh, what got you into this? Um, I am a health professional and a personal trainer, and um, oh, wow. it has been a struggle <laughs> finding a comfortable and affordable clothing. 
oh, uh, for the gym, awesome. you know. So I decided to come out with my own to help people in my community that was struggling with similar situation that I was seeing when I wanted to work out. Oh, All these things are expensive, so I decided to bring my own line. Very cool. I mean, you can see it's good quality, affordable, and uh, you can get it without breaking the bank. So. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> No, this is actually my first time doing this. It's a learning experience. It's been fun, uh, but at the same time, it's been uh, tiring, but I yep. love it. <laughs> I love the challenge. Uh, I'm passionate about health and wellness, so this is my way of contributing to the health and wellness sector. Oh, that's so. beautiful. So what yeah. got you in the health and wellness? Um, just my background. I've always been passionate about healthy living, healthy lifestyle. So in college, I major in public health, and I've been a health educator oh, wow. for a while. And really? um, yeah, I've been doing a lot of health education and promotion, and I'm trying to tailor that into the fitness sector too. Well, that definitely makes sense with the type of clothes that you have to incorporate that in there too. Yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you. And, and you said you do, so do you do classes or? Um, I work? used to do one-on-one -on -one personal training, but I've slowed down for that because I'm focusing on this for now. Uh -huh. um, hopefully, but when this, you know, blows up, I'll get back into it. But there for now, go, I'm go. just pushing to our power to the top. <laughs> nice, I love it, I love it. <laughs> I do, actually. So I just did a, a campaign with uh, Impact Magazine and American Heart Association. Oh, what? Yeah, so we did a shoot in the black community, try to promote heart health. And oh, we have awesome. the cover, it's going to be released on March 29. Um, I have more information coming. I'm not sure the exact menu. But March 29, Impact Magazine slash American Heart Association and Dwight Power will be showing wow. the cover of our campaign that we launched to promote heart health in the black community. Oh, so. that's beautiful. Thank so you. are you going to be posting it on your social media? Yes, I'm okay, going to be posting all this information on my Instagram and Facebook. So our Instagram is Shop Jua Apparel. So Jua is J-U-A-H. So Shop Jua Apparel is our Instagram. And then Facebook is Jua Apparel Brand. So follow us and check out for yes, more information. Definitely. Thank Def you. Man, you're doing some big things out here. Thanks. <laughs> I love it. I love Thank it. You. Thank Anything you. Anything else you want to add for the people? Oh, uh, well. <laughs> I can't think of anything, but hey, come on. Stay fit and well. Yeah, stay fit. There you go. Come and check out Dry Power. We are a small business here in Utah. We are promoting health in the underserved community or minority community, especially our black community. So yes, we love people to come out, check out Power, and yeah. Oh, that's it. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. I love it. Thank well, you. Well, thank you. You take Thanks. care. Thanks. You too. All right. Tell me a little bit about yourself. So I'm Tisha. Um, I do permanent jewelry. Um, I own my own station. It's called Perm Jewels by Tish. Um, I do permanent necklaces, bracelets, rings, anklets, anything we can think of. Pick a charm, pick a chain, pick a placement. Um, and then I weld it onto you so it doesn't come off unless you need to cut it off for whatever reason. Oh, you weld these? Yes, I weld them together so that you can't take them off. So it eliminates the clasp. Oh, that um, is awesome. Yeah, eliminates the clasp so they're just on there at all times. Oh, that's beautiful. Kind of helps me personally because I forget to put my jewelry on every morning. And if they're already on there, I don't have to worry about it. Wow. Yeah. So what got you into this? Um, I just needed a hobby. I was, <laughs> honestly, to be fair, I just needed a hobby. I was bored at home um, with my spare time. I didn't have anything to do, and my sister brought this to my attention, and I finally just made the jump. Nice. Yeah. What, what, when was the time where you were like, okay, this is a business. I, I'm ready to start. Um, so I had a friend of mine that does the same thing that you know, oh. kind of taught me how to do it and kind of showed me a little bit of the ways. Um, and that's kind of what convinced me to actually jump into the business. Nice. Is with her success. So. And they and they do the bracelets and all this too, and the welding. Yeah. So what what made you think of the welding part? Um, so permanent jewelry actually, it is it's been a business. It's in other states. Um, oh. So I don't know who came up with it. To be fair, <laughs> um, I don't know who came up with the idea or the the logistics of it all. Um, but I love the concept of it, and it's it's fun. Nice. Yeah. So you have uh, any events coming up? Um, I do. I have one tomorrow. Um, it is 
brunch and browse at Sugar House or Sugar Space Cafe. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's from ten to three, um, and then I do have a couple things. They will be on my Instagram page at Perm Jewels by Tish, um, and I post them monthly. I do take personal appointments in home in Harriman or at um, a salon in Draper. Oh, nice, yeah. nice. Um, I'm going about six months right now. Um, I'm just getting started. My first event started back in December. Oh wow! Yeah. How was that? Yeah, um, it was it was good. I did um, intern with the girl that I know that does it. I did a couple events with her in like August and September. Oh nice! Um, but my first one individually, first like on my own, was in December. Oh, that's amazing! Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you, guys. Beautiful I appreciate artwork. It. Thank you. <laughs> Beautiful day, don't let them take it away. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful day, so don't let them take it away.